All right, the week ahead. The week ahead. Monday. Yeah, Monday. Keyword for today. Uh, keyword for today. Oh, that's a good question. I haven't thought of it. I got a topic, but I don't have a keyword. Yeah, go yet. ahead. Okay. Topic, I'll give you. Uh, topic: Education. Right. Keyword: Education. T well, <laughs> yeah. Uh, panel of education meets today. They're going to talk about staffing levels for teachers. Mm -hmm. A couple of things are in play here, which are kind of interesting. Number one: Hong Kong student population is declining. Oh yes, no doubt about it. There is a bulge. because of the birth rate. The birth rate has been declining. Uh, there's a bit of a bulge in the in the Python, which is uh, kind of when we had our five or six year period where mainland mommies were still allowed to mm -hmm. come here, and they've bumped that number up. So there'll be a bit of a a bulge, which is you know kindergarten going into primary now. Yes. But then that will disappear, and then they'll all be in high school, middle school. But the government's been producing the same number of teachers. Right, so you've got a declining student population. The other thing that is impacting on demand for teachers in Hong Kong is the fact that so many people are trying to get out of the local system. Mm. The local universities are reporting the number of applicants they have that are from IB programs, right, and from other types of kind of British certified programs are going up, whereas the number of students they have applying from oh. local certifications, DSCs, things like that, are dropping. And it's because people are doing whatever they can if you think your kid's got a chance to go to university, you want to get them out of the local system and put them on an IB track, okay. get them into a private school. Okay. So, you know, in terms of the, the business of educating teachers, they are seeing demand for their product drop uh. dramatically in Hong Kong. And so teachers are going on the defensive. Uh, but there's been a lot about talk about education in the last three or four days, right, in terms of Chen Zor coming out and saying, oh, uh, the Secretary for Education should be directly And the kindergarten well. teachers are protesting yesterday. Oh, and yeah, they were okay. Yeah, 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 okay. That demonstration yesterday. Yeah. Too. So, um, well, and that's going on. And now, yeah. Let me change the e word education okay. to right. the keyword for today: Exodus. An Exodus. <laughs> yeah. An Exodus of students from the local system. Oh yeah. And I mean, it's funny because on a per student basis, there's more and more money because the funding yep. doesn't change. Yep. The number of students up. So you should think you should be getting better and better, right? More money to apply to the kids, but parents aren't buying it. All right. And. Uh, I think that's very interesting to watch. You know, today the panel for education uh, talking about this whole supply demand situation for teachers. It'll be interesting to see the, the subtle nuances of that conversation, given that people know what I'm talking about. You know, we've written about it in Harbor Times, done big, you know, in-depth features on it. People know this, but they they, they want to pretend they don't. Mm. You know, they want to keep saying, "Oh, we need smaller class sizes," because that's the only thing that'll save their jobs. It's kind of going that way, but parents aren't buying it. So what do you do? We'll see what happens at the education panel today. All right, sounds Thank good. You, All right, catch you tomorrow. Cheers.